The little tweaks make a difference, and today we're talking about seam allowance peaks. What the heck am I talking about? Hi everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs, whimsically referred to as Glenda the Good Stitch. Well, with SureFit Designs, once you have drawn your initial pattern, you draw what we call a strip down pattern. We use our master pattern, you mark in your measurement dots, you connect them together, and you end up with what I call your body blueprint. It is a stripped down pattern. That means it doesn't have any seam allowances on it. So in order to cut it out and sew it together, you've got to add seam allowances, which is so easily done with the SureFit Designing Stylus. I've got another video that explains exactly all the benefits of the key to the system because we use it with all the SureFit Designs fitting and sewing kits. But today I want to focus on an anomaly that happens and it's a little peak that can happen on curves when you are adding your seam allowances. But first of all, for those of you who are new, I'd like to show you how to use this designing stylus. Now, when you're at home, you're going to be drawing off your pattern in pencil because if you make a mistake, you can erase it. You're also going to be drawing on your table. I draw on the wall so that everybody can see what I'm doing. But today I'm going to be using pen so that you can see everything that I'm showing you. So to add a seam allowance with the designing stylus, how this is set up is that there's a series of slots around the exterior of the designing stylus. Now, the edge of the slot that is nearest this outside edge, that distance is 5 eighths of an inch. So all you do is put your designing stylus back into the line that you previously drew and simply put your pencil next to the edge of the slot nearest this outside edge of the designing stylus. And there you've added on your 5 8 inch seam allowances, or allowance, I should say, singular at the top of the shoulder line. And now we get into the armhole, and I want to show you what can happen because the curve gets tighter on the designing stylus. So let me put the designing stylus into the armhole. Again, it's very, very easy to add the seam allowances. Put your pencil lead against the edge of the slot nearest the outside edge and simply draw around. But as I keep drawing around, look what happens. It flipped up. It formed a peak and we don't want that. And the same thing can happen at the neckline. So as we've drawn the neckline, I'll put the designing stylus back into the shape I drew. I'll start at the neck point at the shoulder line. I'll draw through and I come around here. Let's just say we want a garment with a 5 8 inch seam going up the front. Well, again, you can see that peak going up. It's because the curve on the designing stylus gets tighter and you don't want to have that happen. So what you need to do initially when you're drawing off your pattern is number one, you must make sure that you have a right angle at your underarm, at your shoulder point, in the arm side area, and at the center front. And so we have this really handy tool called our Curve T-Square, and all you do in order to help prevent this peak formation, both on your stitching line as well as on your seam line, is you line up this inner portion of this 90 degree angle on the T-Square and you must make sure that that's 90 degree angle there. And this one, we want to make sure that's 90 there as well. Same thing at the underarm. We make sure that that is a 90, and we need to make sure that this is a 90 right there. So then, what happens right here is we want to extend that coming straight out. So I'm just going to use, again, my T-square and I'm going to bring the line coming out like this. So again, if I were doing this in pencil, then I would come along with my eraser and I would erase that portion of the line because the 5 8 needs to come like this. So that when you do the side seam, again, the edge of the stylus against the side seam, draw straight down like this to add your seam allowances. Okay, so it's pretty easy to do on a straight line. 
but we end up with this anomaly of this little peak, a little flip up, which we don't want. So again, correct it at the center front. And let me just extend this out in a totally straight line coming out like this, all right? Unless, of course, your facing was curved and coming back, then you'd want a curved extension. But for the illustration that I'm doing, we would just want a straight line coming straight out. Now, this same anomaly can happen on your sleeve pattern. Let's take a quick look. When you're drawing your curvature right here, again, I've already ensured that this is a 90 degree angle right here, but the sleeve pattern is drawn. Now you want to go and add your seam allowances. So it's just in this little underarm portion right here that if I were to continue up, you can see that this is heading upward. Same thing on the other side. Yes, definitely it will happen because it's a similar kind of shape. It starts to head upward and you don't want to have that happen. So come in with your T-square and make sure that this is exactly 5 eighths of an inch. Let me get that lined up properly. And I'm going to start it on this edge right here and extend this line coming out like that. Okay, and then you've got your seam allowance coming down the side this way. And of course, the same thing is going to happen over here. Bring this line straight out and then the seam allowance comes down the side. So just be aware of this anomaly. It's that little peak or blip up. And then there's one other place where this peak can happen. And it actually has nothing to do with the bodice. It has to do with our pants pattern. And it's where you take your inseams and put them together when you're sewing your crotch curvature. And we have a completely other video on this, what I call the crotch curve blip. And I'm going to give you a link in the show more notes below so that you can go and watch it too. It doesn't have anything to do with the designing stylus anomaly. It's an anomaly unto itself because of how the inseams are shaped when they go together to sew your crotch curve together. So I encourage you to watch that. Now, if you haven't already joined our SureFit Designs community, please do so by going to surefitdesigns.com. And when you do, there'll be a little pop-up, fill out your name, email address, and country. And when you hit submit, it'll take you to the subscription gift page. There, there are four free gifts to get you started. And while you're in YouTube, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We've got a goal of 100,000 subscribers. We're getting there. Please help us on our way. We have over 300 videos on fitting, designing, and sewing, all for your educational benefit. Thank you so much for watching.